This employment law video is on interns' rights. Workers, employees. Workers and employees generally have certain rights, such as the entitlement to a minimum wage and statutory paid holiday. Employees also have additional rights, such as the right to statutory sick pay and protection from unfair dismissal, subject normally to having to have two years service. It's important therefore to identify whether an intern falls within one of these two categories. To be deemed a worker, the individual must be obliged to provide work or services personally and must not be in business themselves. To be an employee, there also needs to be personal service. But there also needs to be a stronger element of control and other factors could be relevant too. What is in the contract or internship agreement does not determine status. It's what's happening in practice that counts. The internship arrangement. Where the business is providing set tasks which the intern is obliged to carry out, the intern would usually be a worker and in most cases must be paid. By contrast, if there are looser arrangements and the intern is doing more shadowing rather than performing set tasks, then the intern may well fall outside worker protection. The national living wage and national minimum wage. The national living wage normally applies to workers aged 25 and over. And the national minimum wage applies to most workers aged 24 and under. There are, though, a few exceptions to national living wage and national minimum wage entitlement. One of the exceptions is work experience placements not exceeding one year undertaken by students as part of a UK-based higher education or further education course. Another exception is voluntary workers who work for charities, voluntary organisations, associated fundraising bodies and statutory bodies. They are not entitled to a minimum wage, providing certain conditions are met. They must not receive payment other than reimbursement of expenses incurred or reasonably estimated. They also must not receive any benefits in kind other than reasonable subsistence or accommodation. Paying interns. There is good reason to pay an intern even if you don't legally have to. If you don't pay an intern, you may well be excluding someone who is not able to work for free. By paying an intern, you're therefore widening your pool of talent and increasing diversity. That's my video on interns' rights. The usual caveat is that this video is for guidance only and should not be relied upon for specific advice. For more information, do visit my website. And if you're interested in receiving notifications on other employment law videos, do subscribe to my channel.